We're back with a brand new episode of MAN Quick Stop. If you're a truck or bus enthusiast, this show is made for you. We'll get a look at the latest products and also exclusive glimpses into the world of MAN. Today, I'm taking a look at the brand new MAN Lions Intercity LE. Now, I use public transport quite a bit, so I'm really curious to find out what it's like from the passenger point of view, but also what it's like for the drivers. So I'll be taking a ride with Sebastian from MAN, and we'll also have a quiz for you to test your knowledge on MAN buses. Let's go. Hi, Sebastian. Hi, Tanya. Great to have you here. So what exactly do you do now at MAN? I'm responsible for the product communication. And in this case, I'm responsible for the launch management of the new MAN Lines in the City LE. And you've just had your premiere for this bus, right? Yes. OK, so why is it called LE at the end? What does that mean? LE uh, stands for low entry. And uh, the vehicle is based on the Lines Intercity, the powertrain module. It's more comfortable and more smooth. And it was close to name it Lines Intercity LE. Sebastian, what model have we got here today? Today we have uh, MIN lines in the city LE uh, with uh, 30 meter and two axles. Okay. Does it come in different sizes? In total, we have uh, three different sizes with uh, 12, 13, and 14 meter. Can't wait to take a ride. Yeah, let's go in. Right. Sebastian, before we um, continue, do you actually have a bus driver's license? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, That's good. Phew! <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks for a great ride. And now we're in the Olympic Park in Munich. It looks gorgeous from the front. Tell me all about the design, Sebastian. The MAN Lines Intercity LE is a bus family member with the most modern face, you can say, in our whole uh, bus family group. All of our buses have the typical MAN Smart Edge design. Uh -huh. um, What's Smart Edge? Yeah, that means that our our uh, edges, our corners are smooth and you can identify that as a typical MAN and also our Typical MIN headlights with a, a LED a lighting on it. Um, the black glossy V shape. Yeah, you, you can identify it, it's typical. It looks very premium, I must say. That's the feeling that I get. So can we have a look around the side as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's our, our marketing claim. Uh, takes me to the city, takes me to, to the country, takes me uh, anywhere. So we use the typical slider technology for it. Uh, you can switch it to the left or switch it to the right. And that's the same on the, on the vehicle. If you switch to the left, you have more intercity applicated or switch to the right, it's more city oriented in, in, in this way. And so we use this uh, with, with, with the slider and say, yeah, it takes me anywhere. So this bus is really awesome all about connecting the city and the city with the countryside. Looking from the outside, what can you change here? Yeah, we have uh, typical facts you, you, you can choose in your configuration. You have two different uh, tire sizes. You have the small one for more city-oriented application, or you have the bigger one for more intercity-oriented uh, application. You have uh, three different lengths. So you have uh, 12, 13, and 14 meters. You have different door types. Okay. Uh, that means you can uh, choose your door type inward swinging, outward swinging, uh -huh. or, or uh, sideward sliding doors, small or, or wide doors. Okay, so which are the doors that we've got here today? Um, this is a typical uh, intercity application with an outward swinging door, double leaf outward swinging door. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Fan magic! <laughs> Great, let's take a look inside. So Sebastian, just walked into the bus 
Tell me about the concept here. The typical uh, low entry uh, concept is that you have the low floor module in the front up to door two. And from door two to the rear, as you can see, it's a module of an intercity uh, bus. So I can see it really goes up towards the back. What's the benefit of that? First, uh, you can mount uh, more seats. So you have the maximum on the seat uh, capacity in the bus. And uh, as a second advantage, you can use the uh, rear axle from the intercity bus and can take over this uh, module <clears throat> and uh, the passengers uh, sits over the rear axle and it's uh, more comfortable for all passengers. So this is the, the like a low floor area that we know from a city bus. Um, what is the way that you can customize this area here? You can uh, choose a different seat layouts. So you can get the seats uh, in the full length here where you are standing right now or you can see the, the standing area for the for the wheelchairs or the, or the push chairs. Um, you can choose uh, foldable seats or well, whatever you want. So let's get up there Sebastian. Oh, feels really comfortable. This is great. I can I can uh, recharge my phone here. Yeah, of course. Uh, all seats are equipped with uh, USB plugs. So on convenient. The side yeah. Great. You can choose, or um, you can get uh, luggage racks, like in this version. Luggage racks are optional, equipped with a silver set. That means that you have special light or the, the ventilation on it. And Take a look at that. Yeah, oh. of course. And Very nice reading light. And also the stop button is uh, inside if you want to stop the bus. So do I, if I press that one, do I get a drink served? Yeah, the, the steward is coming <laughs> from, from the front. Oh, a great feature. So interesting. Thanks, Sebastian. But now we're going to continue on our tour for today. Let's yeah. go, Sebastian. Let's go. So from a passenger point of view, I must say, it's a very smooth ride. It's uh, very quiet and quite relaxing. So we've just arrived at our second stop in downtown Munich, and we've got a challenge for you. We've got six buses, MAN buses, over the decades that we'd like you to try and bring them into the right order. And Sebastian's gonna tell us some of the features that have changed over the years, but please don't fast forward because that's cheating. You'll see the answers. Let's see if you can guess the right order for the MAN buses. So Sebastian, maybe you can tell us about some of the features that have changed over the years. I guess it's uh, in the late uh, 70s, um, you can see it, uh, there's no AC unit on the roof. Uh, that would have been here. Yeah, it would be here in, in this uh, part. Small headlights, small glasses. Looks very different, doesn't it? The light. Some, some, yeah. some different tires also, yeah. yeah. Next one is uh, beginning of the 80s, mid of the 80s. Uh, the headlights are changing to this type. Also no AC unit, destination display is it this way. So next one is uh, mid of the 90s, very popular uh, bus. You can see there's a AC unit available is on that, the roof. Is that on the, ah, there's yeah, there on the top. Yeah, it's part right. digital destination displays, some door types. Thank uh, goodness, so finally people know, knew where to go. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> with a display on the front. Okay, this is beginning of 2000. 2000. Right. Yeah. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's starting to look a bit more like this one. It's a real uh, low entry vehicle, our, right, our okay. first uh, low entry vehicle. Mm -hmm. And we are changing to this one. It's mm -hmm. a little bit, little bit modified uh, in mm -hmm. this way. Uh, some updates uh, looks a little bit better in the front, uh, some mm -hmm. parts. And Looking very premium here. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, this is our actual model. Oh, we are that's right this here. One. Beautiful. <laughs> As you can see, uh, some improvements. AC unit you can't see, but it's here on the roof. The door types, uh, the flexibility of the tires, and the, and the doors is, is given the, the modern face. And I really like the logo, the, the silver lion on the black background there. I think yes, that looks very chic. Yeah. Thank you, Sebastian. So how did you do? Did you get all the buses, the six buses in the right order? 
as to the year they were built. And did you have a favorite? Maybe one of your favorites is a retro bus or is your favorite the MAN Lions Intercity LE? Let us know in the comments below. Now we're gonna go on one last drive until we get to our destination and then we'll answer all your questions from social media. Hey Sebastian, the MAN community has sent us some questions. Thank you for sending your questions by Instagram stories. So I'll put them to Sebastian. When can we buy it is what they want to know. The customer can already take his order right now. And the first delivery is in the January 22. That's fast. Fantastic. Right, next question. Can you also get it with the camera option instead of the mirrors? I can't say it exactly, but uh, we are planning that in the next few years. Okay. Is the Wi-Fi for free? Uh, the Wi-Fi is uh, already installed with the uh, Wi-Fi devices. It depends on the, on the uh, bus company. Whether they offer it for yeah. free to the passengers, right. So thank you so much for sending in those questions. The other thing you, we asked you to send was your dream bus for the future. So I'm going to put some of your ideas to Sebastian and see if that's going to be possible in the future. Sebastian, the MAN bus enthusiasts, they want heated seats for the passengers. We are planning that for the future. I, I guess in a few years uh, it will be available for most of our buses. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> and they want multifunctional, a multifunctional steering wheel. Really? It's uh, actually available. It's already there. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, your wishes are being heard. Entertainment on the screens. So there are some screens in there. Would it be possible to watch movies on that? Of course, um, we have big screens. Uh, you can show your advertisement or your some uh, movies or whatever you want. Fantastic. Thank you so much for answering all those questions, Sebastian. Yeah. Do you have any further questions? Write them in the comments below. Mm. Are you a bus driver? What features are important to you? We'd also like to hear about that. So write them in the comments below. So that was our MAN Lions Intercity LE bus tour for today. Sebastian, thank you so much for this fantastic tour. Thank you. Great. And if you enjoyed this episode, then don't forget to click the subscribe button and you won't miss the next MAN quick stop. <laughs>